Gotta show you guys something. I will give them one for the homies. Here they come. I'm no scientist. Look at the water. Beneficial bacteria. They call this bacteria house. It already started massive. And still. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything in the aquarium hobby. Gotta show you guys something right quick. Check this out. I'm on the side of Tiki Falls, my pond, and look at this ginormous praying mantis. This has gotta be one of the biggest praying mantises I've ever seen. Oh my God! Look at the body on that thing. This is like one of those praying mantises that can like catch a hummingbird and eat it. This thing is massive, it's so big that I don't even wanna pick it up. Normally I'll just pick these bad boys up, but because it's so big, it's a little intimidating. That's what she said, or he said. So I'm just letting him chill there. He's been there like for about two or three weeks now. He lives down inside here. I'll come out here, water the plants, and he comes out, but he's just been hanging out on this bird of paradise plant the whole time. He must be catching like all these bees that are on the flowers here. These uh, little honey bees here that get into the little flowers. But I think this guy's got a prime piece of real estate here that he's just scooping up bees left and right because he hasn't moved. And there you go, boys and girls. That's your minute insect talk here on my channel. Let me flip this camera around and um, we're gonna do something that I love to do every single day multiple times a day and it has something to do with tiki falls my 8500 gallon koi pond let's go it is feeding time for my babies watch them come running over to daddy they hear daddy's voice and they'll start coming running here they come look at them what's up babies you guys ready for some uh, i guess you can say it's kind of a lunch look how beautiful though my japanese koi fish most of these are from koi enterprise they're all doing great though look at them all don't worry, daddy's got some food for you. And then of course my 8,500 gallon koi pond. Tiki Falls looking great. Water still great. Look how crystal clear it is. We can see straight down to the bottom. I have a gravel base bottom here in Tiki Falls. We're gonna feed them some of their favorite food. A combination of big bites and we have a variety mix. So we got two types. Yeah, we'll give them one for the homies. That's one for the homies, all right? This is for my homies. You guys bone up a teat. Look at them go nutsos over this stuff. You guys are wondering what I feed my koi fish. Check it out, okay? Microbe lift. Koi and goldfish food, high quality, brings out the colors, super healthy. They have all different types. They have some with vitamins and minerals and fruits. Everything that your koi fish needs. See all this food? Kind of looks like a lot, right? Look at it all. It'll be gone in about, honestly, two minutes, one and a half minutes. They'll come over here and just start grazing, feasting. They remind me of like a bunch of goats. All right, so check it out. I get a lot of comments below on people asking me what type of filtration do I have for such a massive pond like this, 8,500 gallons. Well, I'm strictly running a natural ecosystem style pond filter by Mountain Tree. Uh, let me go up on the hill and show you guys. Here it is, this is my Mountain Tree Natural Eco Pond Filtration System. As you can see, the water comes from two pipes over there, right? It comes in, it drops down, and it rises up through all these star filter brushes, all of these. And then it drops down into this section here, which is our spiral filter mats by Mountain Tree. Drops down, and then it rises up from underneath here, into our lotus root bacteria house. This is where the main system is because a lot of beneficial bacteria is growing on all of these lotus roots. You see this? Lots of surface area. That means lots of beneficial bacteria. And that is what keeps your fish safe, healthy because they're actually eating all of the waste that's being produced in the pond. It's a natural filter system, which I absolutely love. Then the water drops down into this little category where we have UV sterilizer balls. We got five of them. And then the water goes back into these two pipes and goes back into the pond. That's how the filtration system is ran. And I talk about the Lotus Root Bacteria House. I talk about them a lot. I talk about them on Instagram, YouTube. I've done numerous videos on this. We're gonna take it 
to another level. I like to expose people that try to copycat and they try to front on making another quote unquote bacteria house, okay? So this is what we're going to do. All right, so I'm super excited for this. This is sort of like a versus video. I guess we can call it that. Uh, I've been thinking of an easy way of showing you guys because I'm no scientist, right? I thought of an idea that I can show you guys how Mountain Tree Lotus Root Bacteria House is better than another brand. This right here is the Mountain Tree Lotus Root Bacteria House G3. This is generation three. And it's going to be versus Monotaro Bacteria House. Yeah, the nerve, right? They call this Bacteria House 2. I did a video a while back on the Lotus Root Bacteria House 2s, okay? Check it out. Now the original Spiral Bacteria House was launched in 2010. Hold on, I gotta jump in here really fast. Did you just see a picture of what the original Mountain Tree Lotus Root Bacteria House looked like? Looked very similar to this, right? Minus the spirals. I mean, I'm just saying, Monotaro, hey, we see what you're doing. Not only do Lotus Root Spiral Bacteria House help filter your pond, but they are also rich in essential minerals, which are key to the fish's health and growth. Let's go ahead and break down these minerals, all right? First off, they also have iron in it. Yeah, iron is a key role in enhancing the immune system, helping your fish stay resilient against diseases. They also have potassium, which promotes strong bone development, which is essential for the structure, health of your koi fish. Now, in the koi industry, they always talk about the structure of the body. This is what's gonna help is potassium calcium and magnesium are also in the bacteria house and they are a vital mineral that stimulates fish growth contributing to overall well-being and lastly it also has zinc which is known to increase fish appetites ensuring they receive all the nutrients they need each of these minerals contributes to creating a thriving environment for your fish with mountain trees lotus root spiral bacteria house you're not just filtering water you're enhancing the life within it so as you can see mountain tree are the ogs when it comes to filter media for koi ponds 2010 now monotaro is only six years old 14 years of development versus six years of development i think they like bake theirs at some temperature to make it really porous but this is going to be the ultimate challenge and this is how we're going to do it all right so this is what we're going to do how you can determine what is a good filter media for ponds is water absorption. So we have two bowls here with water. We have about eight ounces of water in each one. We have a scale and we have both of our competitors here, the Mountain Tree Lotus Root Bacteria House and the Monotaro Bacteria House. I, I hate saying bacteria house, but whatever, okay? The biter, all right, the imposter. We're gonna expose this. All right, so what we're going to do, first we're gonna turn on our scale and we are gonna weigh each individual piece, okay? So let's start off with the mountain tree. Well, let's make sure this is all zeroed out first. Come on now. There we go, it's zeroed out. We're gonna put this on the scale and see what it reads. Okay, 18.48 ounces. I got it in ounces, I don't know why, I just have it on ounces. So we know it's 18.48. Now we're gonna take the lotus root and we are going to just put it right here in the water and we are going to watch the water absorption look at it it already started wow it's already moving up to the second level you can actually physically see it changing colors as we speak look at that so that water absorption is already going down it was at eight ounces you can see the line there and it's already working up to its third level okay while it's doing that let's go ahead and take our Monotaro and we're gonna weigh it. We're looking at 35.87. Okay, now we're gonna take this and we are going to dip it in the water. In the water it goes 
it's also absorbing too. I mean, definitely not as fast, but you can see this one here. Look at the level. It's already up to the sixth level. You can see it. You see how dark it is? That's all soaked in water. And it's already on the sixth level of the spirals. And the water has dropped significantly, almost down to the bottom. Oh my gosh. Water absorption is super important. That's where the beneficial bacteria is gonna colonize, inside the small pores. You see all those small pores there? So water absorption is the key when it comes uh, to filter media. Now let's look at the Monotaro. Oh, it's absorbed, but it's nowhere near the level of the mountain tree lotus root bacteria house. It's slowly absorbing. You can see where the line is of the water absorption see it versus look at oh my gosh it's already working up to the very top now i put these in almost the same time so we're gonna see the water absorb god this this is almost empty this little bowl of water is almost empty the mountain tree lotus root bacteria house is doing work it's already up to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's working on the eighth level right there. Where it's dark is what's soaked in water. And then you can see the upper half, how light it is. And this one here is still down here at the bottom. It hasn't really moved up much. And there's still a lot of water. You can see the water level. You see the water level? Look at it. It's right at the eight ounce line. And this one is well underneath the eight ounce line you see it water level there i'll put an arrow and water level still there i'll put an arrow yeah it hasn't really moved so very little if any i swear if i left this in here another like five minutes i think all the water will be totally gone out of this dish look it you can see the water level here see it versus the water level here down at the bottom still lots of space to absorb more water and this just proves that mountain tree lotus root bacteria house has more pores for beneficial bacteria to colonize and that's what makes the mountain tree lotus root bacteria house so much better than the other brands right you can see the water level all right so i'm going to take this one out oh my gosh look at this my ohana the water is absorbing right before our eyes you can actually see it being sucked into the mountain tree lotus root bacteria house and it's just about empty look at that you see the water slowly being absorbed that is amazing look at look how much water is still inside the monotero bacteria house still so much water look at look at i can move it around still a lot of water and if i go to try to move this one around look it there's no water in here it pretty much sucked everything up and you can see how many levels all the way up to right about this level here and the rest of it is dry up here because there's no more water if there was more water this whole thing would be drenched and soaked up look at the water there's a little water bubble right there that's it all the other water is absorbed. Everything at the bottom here is absorbed from the mountain tree lotus root bacteria house. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to zero it out. We're going to take the lotus root. We're going to see how much water it absorbed. And we're going to weigh it. So now look at the weight. I'll put a picture of the original weight when it was empty. And you can see how much water it absorbed and how fast it did it in too. We're going to go ahead and weigh up. Uh, look at all the water that's still in here. The Monotaro. Let's weigh it. Okay, let's balance it out. Well, 38.20. That is the final compared to what it was. Man, I tell ya. So if this guy had some arms, I would raise one up and say, and still the filter media pawn champion of the world, Mountain Tree Lotus Root Bacteria House. We learned a lot about the lotus root bacteria house, the water absorption, and how much surface area that beneficial bacteria can colonize on just one of these. Now inside my mountain tree natural eco filtration system, I have over 30 of these inside there. So imagine 
all the beneficial bacteria that's colonizing on that. But not only that though, it has all the vitamins and minerals, calcium, zinc, potassium, that keeps your fish healthy and safe. And then you guys wonder how I have such beautiful koi fish. It's the media too as well. It's an ecosystem. Take care, big shout out to Mountain Tree, the undisputed champion of filter media. Take care of my ohana and I'll see you guys in that next video. Much love and aloha.